Seven thirteen. Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites, and we out here again through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And we're going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Yahweh We want to give double honor uh, to the elder high priest, all right, that taught our elder apostles, all right, as well as our elder apostles and elder bishops at Great Millstone, all right. We want to say uh, peace and blessings to the elect out there of the nation of Israel, okay? Starting with the 144,000 as well as the one-third, all right? Uh, this is Great Millstone Houston, all right? And news and prophecy, okay? The news around town here in, in the H, all right? Half these people's lights are still out, okay? The governor is out of the country on official business. Like right. the last time. This is, what, it's a pattern. It's a pattern. Now you gotta think, because Texas is self. Matter of fact, somebody look up uh, the the uh, the gross uh, of how much does the Texas economy bring in worldwide? Because if I'm not mistaken, the Texas economy by itself is the eighth largest in the world. Just the no. state of Texas is, itself. What did it say? Just a simple Google search. Just an uh, AI overview. <laughs> um, uh, the Texas economy, again, grew faster than the nation as a whole for the seventh quarter in a row. Because it's an energy sector. Okay? You got it. Growing at a rate of 2.5% during the first quarter of 2024. And it's a lot of people moving down here, too. Uh -huh. And Houston itself is the most diverse city in America. Uh -huh. Okay? So, like, the land back up to you, I, um, when I'm driving around, I see a lot of Tennessee plates. And then on, on, on the Tennessee license plates at the bottom, you can see the different cities. I was like, I didn't even know there was that many cities in Tennessee. Because, you know, they don't really mention them, but... I see a lot of the, the blue uh, Tennessee license plates, but was, it's so many. Oh, different yeah, plates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different, yeah. Uh, different, uh, from Florida, different yep. Florida, Georgia, California, uh, California, Illinois, uh, New York. Because huh. see what it is, people can't afford to live in them, what they call liberal states, you know? So they making an exodus to come down here, which could very well be to, you know, depending on on the hip, how the heavenly father has it to play out could be to the, for their judgment, you know? Go ahead, uh, That was from the Bureau of Economic Analysts. Uh, the, Texas economy, the Texas economy is officially the eighth largest economy yeah. in the world. Yeah. Value at more than $2.4 trillion, according to the IMF GDP of 2022. And you can find that on... What is uh, their GDP? Uh, IMF GDP. That's from 2022. Okay. What was it then? Um, that I don't know. Okay. And uh, you know, I think it was something like two trillion. This I believe it was in the trillions. Yeah, it's like two point trillion. Two okay. Trillion. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah. it went up a little more than that. Not much more, but still. Okay. So you got to think about that. And then this is the energy sector. Okay, now check this out, Shalom. Instead of them approving the contracts with Center Point, okay, they still negotiating what they should pay these contractors and all these people that have come down here to work on the, the, the power. You know, instead of doing that, they got with other counties and rounded up what is it, an extra hundred police? 
to come and uh, police the city of Houston. That, huh? You see? That something ain't right. Something ain't adding up. Switch it around. I think you got it. No, you don't. Oh, okay. You can switch What's it around. Wrong? I'm gonna get a camera oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you can switch it. Yeah, you can switch it. See, I didn't know that. Uh, talking about Texas being a, uh, uh, the eighth largest economy in the world, and the security. the security, yeah, they sent a the hundred police, extra police, to come down here because they so say it's to keep civil risk. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. But why? Right. That's the mask. Yeah. That's yeah. a lie. Yeah. Why though? But let's say that is what it would. Okay. Why? Why would? there be civil unrest right because half these people got power mm-hmm. the other half don't right we standing out here we just standing still and not oh, shit i'm sweating right <laughs> imagine right. being in your house and the humidity out here is ridiculous right and you know where the lights is off predominantly right. yep. yep and we know niggas and when we say niggas we talking about all the two-thirds of the tribes don't do good in hot weather. They tend to act a little more cuckoo than what they normally do. Right. You know? That was that movie. Uh was it do the right thing? Oh, that's right thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was it, it was hot. She yeah, was hot. Right. <laughs> Jake Tripp, I really get hot like that, man. You know? So like if I can add, I seen an article on this morning. So neighbors arguing with each other, 58 year old dead, you know? And over water power out. What y'all told y'all what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, he was sleeping good. Hell yeah, he was sleeping good. That's somebody he know. Yeah, even Mike Gibbs woke up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He got caught like Bernie Mac. Time to hear that pop. Yeah. Uh, what we got? Okay, hold that. I just want to say one more thing. Okay, with the economy being as strong as it is here, look at each disaster that's come through Houston. Let's just say the last three. One more devastating than the last. Each one of these little storms coming through here, which I follow a lot of independent storm trackers and guys that study weather patterns, because I've always been interested in that shit. Mm. And they were showing infrared images of where barrels started, okay? And he dude was like, but he wasn't the only one, it was a few of them. You could clearly see where they were seeding and uh, geo or uh, uh, engineering the storm. I forgot what is it? Uh, not bioengineering. Geo engineering. Yeah, yeah. Right. geo engineering the storm. Right. And it's clear as day. Cause see now he saw you can't hide. Your own satellites is killing on you. Yeah. You see, your own and y'all them cats is either might get that scripture too. They tongue shall fall on upon themselves. Okay. So saying all of that to say this, it seems like they're trying to weaken this economy oh, yeah. purposely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There was already talking about Houston was going bankrupt. That earlier this year. Uh, another talks about Texas uh, seceding oh, yeah, yeah. from the U.S. and oh, that ain't right. the first time. Oh right, right, right. Because again, if you the eighth largest economy in the world, right, you can float without the rest of this shit. And it, it's no coincidence so many people is coming here. Right. Okay? Because right. the shit is still all right out here. Like, yeah. right. you know? Because of the amount of land, open land. Open land. So, right. You can and have energy. an investor yeah. set up a warehouse, set up a warehouse on the outskirts of what they call Greater Houston and the outskirts. A little bit further out, you're going to open Cheaper up wheelers. Yeah. 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 Uh, Put uh, factories. Yeah, fucking out there. Uh, up Baytown. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Baytown, Conroe. Uh, New Caney. Over yep, there, New Caney. Yep. Porter, they open up a lot of these buildings, so much open space for you to just put a warehouse and now have this infrastructure to where you can set up something like that, man. Because this has been happening. I can go up and remember shit over 15 years of just being in the work field that I've been in. All right, I constantly meet people on these large job sites from all over the country, man. 
And they just picked up and moved out here to start a whole new life, man. Yeah, that's, that's I was just going to add, you know, like the, uh, the city, you know, Texas got a lot of land. If you look at Texas on the map, you're going to see Esau got us populated right next to each other. And it's just hella land out there available for use. You know, oil field. They all about that oil. That's all you're going to see in Texas. The oil fields everywhere. And you're going to see the population. We all here together just right there. Let's get a scripture Psalm 64, verse 8. So they shall make their own tongues to fall apart themselves. That's right. That's why there was a push, you know, part of the push with the whole TikTok land. And all of that is just the, because if they can get that, it's like a slippery slope. Now we can get any of these platforms. You see what they did? Where truth is is, is 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 the enemy of the state, man. Okay. And going back, they purposely doing all of this shit uh, to this state, man. You know, we we're happy it's happening. Uh, you yeah. know, it ain't like we out here, man. They like, fucking yeah. with Texas. Don't fuck with Texas. Yeah, don't and mess fuck with Texas. Texas. Right. Fuck the South. Fuck the West Coast, the East Coast, and the whole America. Hey, Texas is the epitome of Esau's pride, man. Yes. All right, when you grow up out here, man, the way they pump Texas history down your throat, uh, which is you telling us of the, how you took over 18. our brethren, man. Yeah. Remember the yes. Alamo, brother. You got to remember the Alamo. Yeah. Remember the Alamo. Yeah, we got the slavery. Yeah, yeah. Talk to the races. So like, if I can land back off the elder, too, um, with the Alec Jones, um, what he was doing was actually speaking truth. Yeah. You know, now and, and him with him speaking truth on his platform, since he has so many viewers, now they starting to hit his pockets. You know, they, they got his uh for the Sandy Hook ordeal. Yeah. They they pretty much digging into his account, which goes to show you that none of these people really actually have that money that they're so called to have. Yeah, bring that out. This is Second Corinthians two and eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We clearly see, okay, what this devil is up to. All right? And even if it ain't just to cripple this economy, these storms are being geo-engineered, and they are ramshacking this place, man. We stand this glass right here. Right. Them buildings, when that first storm came through and all the glass, the majority of them buildings ain't been fixed. Look at this building. They still got scalpels. And what is this? Right. Uh, this is Chevron. Chevron. Right. Right. Well, Chevron is like what? Right. One of the top, largest top leaps in, the, in the top 10. Right. Right. And they ain't even fixed this shit. And they need to get the mildew off the side. I mean, see, it look, that, that's tacky. To say that you a Fortune 500, you got one of the biggest businesses in the world, you know? It just show, it's a reflection of this place, man. This place is going down the two. But bring that up one more time, man. Second Corinthians 2 and 11. Let's say this should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Right. Ignorant means to ignore. You see? And all the information is out there. All right? And as we always speak about uh, Operation Popeye, because, you know, you got people out there, oh, y'all are just conspiracy theorists. Anybody can look up Operation Popeye. What the, the, the U.S. government was doing during the Vietnam War. They were seeding the clouds, making it rain, trying to wash them little, <laughs> yeah, trying to wash them out them holes. Because, shit, they was handing America they hat, man. Okay? Which... You know, remember the Alamo, remember now all that shit. They don't talk about the Vietnam War in school. Right. If they do, it's brief and it's on to the day. Yeah, a lot of people protested against the war. Yeah, won't you tell what happened in that war? You know? There ain't no guerrilla warfare. Yeah, they did. Even with uh, the so-called Middle East, with Afghan and et cetera. Them Ishmaelites, hey, there's a wild They war. haven't lost their war. Yeah, they busting the uh, U.S. ass. That's like the longest-running war, ain't it? Pretty the much. one in Pakistan? 
Um, oh, is it Afghanistan? And then, like all that little area. Because remember, the, the the plan was to take over six, and then like the seventh was going to be Iran. Now, if you can't even take down the tower heads, what you gonna do when the Lord returns, Esau? Except fold. Um, bring bring that out one more time. You got Okay, bring that out. Just wanna make a point. Second Corinthians two. Second Corinthians two and eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yes, we are not ignorant of his devices, okay? And he's not going to get an advantage of the elect, all right? Because the elect know that they've been commanded, whoever they may be, you know, Lord willing, we are that number, you know? Been commanded to be circumspect, all right? And to know what's going on globally, man, okay? Which is something, like I said, news and prophecy, all right? And this is the news. All right. Meanwhile, Biden, like he about to drop dead, man, and no bullshit, which wouldn't be surprising because going back to that clip of former President Gerald Ford had made that statement. It was, they was had like a class or something and little children was all in there and all that. And they was asking him a question. And he was the president at the time. And a little girl asked, she said, do you think there'll ever be a female president? He said, well, under certain circumstances. He said, she ain't gonna get voted in. What'll happen is some man will be president. And during that term, his vice president will be a female. And during that term, he'll drop dead. And that's what you call predictive programming also right. which is another device right. of Satan. Kind. okay see we have to look at everything through a spiritual eye man right you know and then what filter it through the scripture you see the men of the lord know what's going on in the grand scheme of things man we the, the men of the lord know the know the whole the whole game you see like a alex jones or somebody yeah. like that that's tattletaling and shit like that. Right. They don't know the ultimate. They don't know that the Lord is about to return and that this place is. They trying to save America. Yeah. Okay. To no. To no avail. They say they took an Alex Jones or somebody on a platform like that, one of these so-called whistleblowers, or extreme uh, uh, theory guys. And gave them a position amongst the elites, they wouldn't have shit to say. Of course not. They don't have an issue with wickedness. All right? We have an issue with wickedness. We have an issue with the rulership of the earth, man. Okay? And we understand what they're about, man. Everything that happens is designed, man. Amos 5 and verse 15, hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. Yep, like the elder is talking about. They don't hate the evil, man. They want this to continue somehow. The patriot spirit, we got to save America, bring America back, make America great again. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> what exactly made America great? Right. Slavery? And to this day. Robert. As a matter of fact, the only kid, it is all full of lies and robbery. Okay? That's what this place is full of. All right? It was built on the blood, sweat, and tears of our people, man. Okay? They want so called white America back. Yes. And you know where they want us? Back where they had us then. Right. Which is where we really still are. Right. Yeah. On the grand scheme of things, you got right. some jakes that's doing so-called good making some millions even some billions yeah, they still catching hell but they still catching hell they still in this flesh they still under the rule of the devil yeah. okay they ain't right no. because in order to get to that level in this place you gotta play with the devil there's no other way this is his realm you want to get on the level you gotta play with the devil 
This is Nahu, chapter 3 and verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. Yep. The this prey departed not. That's right. This is the bloody city. Built on the blood of these people. Literally. Literally. Yes. Okay. That's why they want to suppress uh, critical race theory. You know, we shouldn't teach that in human beings. Okay. First of all, the, the, the watered down version of history that they give us in these so-called learning institutions. When you learn something, all right, yeah. you learn how to be wicked. Because that's what you're taught in these, pro in these uh, public schools, any school, okay, is how to be wicked. Meaning, you learn how to be a so-called citizen and to learn how to tolerate and learn how to love and get along with all the sorts of wickedness. And to sit there and swallow we just had pride money. People should be in an uproar. Where was Alex Jones? Yeah. Was he out protesting that devil? No. Hey, Salaki, we was, uh, you were speaking on how this place was built on the blood all right, uh, of Israelites, man. All right, where was the uproar when they, after 9 11, when they finally cleared everything and they found a, made, a, a mass a, a grave site, man? Of Israelite bodies, skeletons, man, that that was thrown down under fucking uh, the uh, the twin towers, man. Yeah. Where's the uproar for shit like that, man? And that's one of many, man. All throughout America, there there have been found mass grave sites, man. All Ooh, right, uh, of uh, uh, of Gad, uh, Reuben, and Judah, man. Yeah. Yeah. So the stuff that we learned in school, man, that's just. That's surface level shit. Man. Just like we all seen Roots. Roots don't touch Goodbye Uncle Tom. Like Goodbye Uncle Tom gives a better depiction of what was really going on. Ruth, uh, no, don't run away. What's your name, boy? I'm whipping in this yeah. cotton picking and bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But Goodbye Uncle Tom really got down to the nitty gritty. And it was man. real production. Yes, because it wasn't here. Right. See? I believe they shot that in France, if I'm not mistaken. You know, so they would, you know, they it's a little more liberal because you know it's Edomite freaks. Okay, that's what you get from liberal. And that movie showed you they was freaks. Yeah. The, the way they had naked babies and flipping them upside down and popping them on the ass in this movie, that wasn't no fucking act. What yeah. about when they painted all the little, little boys? Yeah. Right. And then had they brought them in the room and. You saw sitting there picking little boys and shit, which one you want. And right. they had the midget uh, pimp. Right. That's where all that pimping shit come from, Yeah, just like from you see in the video. And yep. they was, he wasn't pimping, wasn't women. He had little boys in a fucking little room chained up, man. You know why they had a midget? Because a midget is a little person. It looked like a little boy. He saw as a sick, perverted, twisted freak, man. Okay? So he... We gonna get a grown man that looked like a little boy. There's no coincidence that he saw want everybody to be clean shaven, so they call. Him. You know, because he want men to look like little boys. He want everything out of order, man. Get First Corinthians 14 and 40 real fast. And I want to go back to that. Uh, go to the blood city. Too. This is First Corinthians 14, oh. <laughs> verse 40. Man, Let all things be done decently and in order. Yep. And this place is the total opposite of what that scripture says. It ain't decent, and it's all out of order, man. That's why it's referred to in the scriptures as Babylon the Great, the city of great confusion, man. That's exactly what that's here, okay? Nothing but confusion. You might be walking down the street and see what you perceive to be a, a, a woman. Walk up to, hey, how you doing, man? Nice today. Hey, yeah. How about the right? How about the mix? <laughs> you know? Right. How about them Yankees? Damn. Shit. You know? That's what goes on. Oh, the woman of the year. Who who was the world? Bruce Jenner? Wasn't even a woman. And wasn't even a so called wasn't even so-called trade, because you still a dude. You still a dude. 
but you hadn't even so-called transitioned for a whole year but one woman of the year just had another one one missed something yeah i seen that too i seen a plus size uh transformer too that won one of these pageants also they pushing it this being uh morbidly obese is except yeah they, they, and esau has plagued the people here so much that you'll have people that's morbidly obese and saying that people that are smaller than them that doesn't mean that you're healthier than me. It's goddamn right. That's what I'm saying. When your yeah. body, your fat stores toxins. Right. That's the whole point of the fat. Like the, the yes. toxins and things they they're stored in your fat. So it's a bunch. That, this is why this is Babylon the Great. It's the land of great confusion. Man. Is Lizzo fine? Yeah, and that's the spirit too. Because when you tell it's a sexual. woman, you'll tell a woman, "Oh, you look good," you know, know, and then you'll turn around and say, "You look like Lizzo," and they'll get mad. Well, you just said. No, yeah. not the body shape. So yeah. I can't say you look like Lizzo. You just said Lizzo look good. It's you really beautiful. can't tell them shit that no too. more. Yes. And then a lot of women is starting to complain. Men don't approach me no more. We tired of y'all, man. Uh, yeah, okay, because y'all the prize. Yes, yes, absolutely. We are the prize. Believe that shit. Okay. We are, and the men of the Lord are the most. They the, the most high value men in the universe right. okay because when all hell breaks loose and it get time for uh getting saved yeah, like <laughs> yeah. look like he's trying to breathe <laughs> yeah a key example he could barely breathe his big ass yeah. could barely breathe in there man Shit. Law enforcement, no sir. He's not a real cop. He's a park ranger. Yeah, he's a park ranger. Okay. <laughs> All the same. But anyway, uh, a man of the Lord is going to be or uh, is the highest value man because in order to get saved out of here, you have to be under a man of the Lord. Right. Yeah, See? not an Anton uh, Davis. Oh, man. Right or Dr. Man. Umar Johnson. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. I got some real Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. I will make a man, like the elder said, a man of the Lord. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Hey, Salaki, and it's important that we emphasize on the man of the Lord because Isaiah 33 and 6. In those times, all right, the men of the Lord are going to be the only ones all right, in a stable mindset. Why? Because they have faith and belief. Yep. And this is part of the process. We waiting for uh, for these things to happen, man. Yep. I was going into everybody bugging out over this no lights. It's going to be no lights, water, <laughs> and all other type of things going on. Right. right. The only light that will be able to guide you through this thing is Yahweh Shai. That's right. Okay? Like the elder is saying, <laughs> Who else is going to know what's really going on in that day? Exactly. Knowledge and wisdom shall be thy stability. Because right. the men of the Lord is going to know, okay, this is supposed to be happening. Right. This is going to happen. And then, okay, the Lord's about to come. The people of the world don't know that. That's why the scripture, well, really, two-thirds of our people don't know that. That's why the scriptures say that the Lord is coming as a thief in the night. He ain't going to care. He's not coming as a thief in the night to those that know he's coming. He gonna get caught in the thief in the night to the niggas that sleep. Like the brother, like the elder said, his coworker, he was asleep in his heat, in his darkness, his gross yep. darkness. Yep. Yep. Man's place got robbed. Yep. That's spiritual. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Beautiful. You know, hey, I always like to reference that movie, uh, Players Ball, with Bernie Club. Mac. Oh, Players Club. Players Club. Yeah. Players Club. It's a lock. Boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bernie Mac was laying in that bed, and that dude came in there to get uh St. Louis's money. Yep, yep. He said it's time to hit that pop. But Bernie Mac had been playing yeah. and not wanting to do how he was supposed to do. And then dude showed up and was standing over him with the with with the uh a gun. Yeah, yeah, you shocker. know? The same thing gonna happen to two-thirds of our people. The Lord gonna come as a thief in the night. Time to hit that pop. Yeah, 
and this popcorn being various different ways. You might wake up and see a big right. beast right. standing over you, man. Yeah. Uh, see, two thirds of our people don't know nothing about Jacob's trouble. Right. You got Israelites that know they Israelites don't even. They don't believe there's going to be a time of Jacob. So we just go one day, just like this. <laughs> there goes the Lord right there. He just out of the blue with nothing leading up to that. Come on, man. Go ahead, right. And if I may, real quick, that, that's the value that Yahweh by Shimei has given us. Man. Yes. Lord, Lord, will we are those men, but just to know, to know yeah. those things, you know, going, going back to the stability, yeah. that, that's what's going to make you more precious. Yes. You know, in that refinement process that Yahweh by Shimei has trying us by fire right now. To where when those days come, Lord, we we already prepared. Yeah, you know it's it's not gonna be anything no of a uh, grave significance. Right. It's it's gonna be a continual transition. Uh, oh, tribulation. Yeah. Right. And then it's like, oh, okay. Now it like like we we're excited because because these are are not all of the things that the scriptures have written of now come into pass. And right. we know that deliverance is on the other side of all of the things that prophecy had uh, stated. Yeah. Jake don't stop playing when they see the stuff that we talking about, they ridicule and laugh at now and heckle and joke and all of that shit. When they see, which just like when the, uh, the, 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 the playing thing came through, right. the beta test, okay, the scam thing, you know, she Jake wanted answers. Yeah. Because Jake was scared. Right. You see? Then he kind of let off us playing that. Jake is back playing and dancing again. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Yeah. It shall not return to me void, yeah. but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Yeah. And I brought this up with the elder was saying, you know. People think it's not gonna be a time of Jacob's trouble. Hey, that's prophecy. Hey, we speaking that prophecy, and so it's gonna come to pass because Yahweh by Shimei was shot. Wanted to. Yeah, like the newly created beast. The scripture says it's gonna be newly created beast. Yeah. You see a lot of beasts washing up the shore. That Dang. they uh, yeah. What is this? Thing? Yeah, monsters. Huh. Shit. Yeah, we we just watching the new Godzilla and uh, mm -hmm. King Kong. The show in there, you said the. Uh, uh, it was portals. It was how I opened up fucking portals. Yeah. All right, to a whole nother world full of new, the new creatures, man. That's what we look at CERN. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what that's exactly what we said too. We said yeah. portals. You know, we looking at each other like, hey, that's CERN. <laughs> because look, when they crank that CERN shit back up, look at the incidents that happened down there in Florida with the portal opening up, and they said the three mm -hmm. big tall beams came through at that mall, and everybody was hauling ass, and all the police were there. <laughs> What happened to that? That seemed like that should still be getting talked yeah. about. Yeah, it wasn't uh, teens. If it was just a Pop whole bunch of niggas running around, around, you would have had a whole bunch of people before. Uh, yes. No, they were in fear. Yes. Them people was running like, they was running like they life depended yeah, on. Like Hammond when Godzilla come out. Even when motherfuckers out at a mass shooting, people still recording. Yeah. All them people got the hell out of there. Because something was going on that was not right, man. It wasn't normal. But when you got this devil sitting here playing with realms and opening up, doing things he ain't got no business, smashing atoms together. Why? Because really what he's trying to do is play y'all by shooting y'all by shot. Okay? Yeah. Uh, what you got, I? I want to bring this up real quick. Because brothers was talking about, like I know Isaiah 33 and 6 was mentioned, mm -hmm. that when uh, when our hell break loose, what we know, what we've been taught, what we've been practicing, will keep us stable. Uh, like 2 Ezra 5, it says that when truth be taken away, uh, people don't have answers, they go look for it, then what's going to increase? Unrighteousness, which is lawlessness, and their continency, a lack of self-control. But as the brother was saying, the Lord has been putting us through uh, our own personal trials. And he'll get us through them. So now we got that that couple going through other situations, knowing the Lord will get us through them. Uh, also, what else? We've been told ahead of time what's to come. Yeah. That's a comfort in that, man. Yeah, Being warned about something right. before it happened, not finding out when it's going on. Yeah. 
again, Hurricane Barrel, that's a small situation, but a lot of people was caught off guard. But while I want to get this in, we've been preparing. Peter said, thank you, not strange when these things happen. We've been told, we're telling others. So once it happens, at least we're going to have some type of uh, wit about ourselves. And I want to get this real quick. Okay. Y'all ever watch G.I. Joe? They used to say knowing is half the battle. You got it, guys. Real quick, this is a rock chapter 22 and verse 16 in the GNT. It says, a wooden beam can be put into a building so firmly that an earthquake cannot shake it loose. Mm -hmm. So a person can be trained to use reason and good sense so well that he keeps his head when a crisis comes. Yeah. And that's exactly what's going to happen. The, the, we've been learning from our teachers, the apostles, the elders. Uh, we've been going through our own situations, being trained to use good sense, applying the scriptures when something's happening, wait on the law. So when a, a real crisis do come, at least we go, again, know what to do. Have an idea of what's going on, what's to yep. come, but these people ain't gonna know what's going on. So they're gonna lose their head, man. And they're gonna react from the flesh. What you got? Right. Hey, but that's yeah. another example of why a man is gonna become uh, 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 precious, man. Right. All right, first of all, a woman loses her shit immediately, man. Wait. All right, but it's gonna take a man of the Lord to keep, to not buzz the fuck out because these tough guys, your thugs, <laughs> your bodybuilders, all you tough guys in society, they gonna curl the fuck up, man. Right. Because what's coming, they 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 turned a, 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 a blind eye to, man. All right. When the prophets talk, talked about these things, they saw you niggas crazy. That can never happen. But look at history, man. Look at the martial law. This is still with martial law in itself. How many times martial law been implemented in certain parts of the country, man? Right. Concentration camps. Yeah. Shit. They they had uh what was it, Amazon? Yeah. After the bombing of Pearl Harbor, okay, so say, you know, they had Ammonin uh, concentration camp. So that's not nothing new either. On American soil. Oh, oh yes. Oh, they show, uh, remember, uh, uh, Scarface. Mm -hmm. Remember they oh, had yeah, them yeah, yeah. underneath the bridges and shit. They, they really had, they like that, man. What is it, uh, Cuba? Cuba yeah. You get exiled. If you make it over here, they send you back. Haiti, they send you back, I believe, also. Yeah. But, you know. It's the land of the free, though. Let them tell you. The home of the bond. I got, yeah. I got a question. Uh, just laying back enough of uh, what's going to make you more precious is this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, right? Uh, going back into Yahweh by Shimei uh one, giving us, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai. Uh, loosening those seals, giving us the apostles and the prophets, okay, to train us in this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, right? But the, the preciousness is not going to happen until there's tribulation, until, exactly. until everyone else starts to recognize that those men that were out on the highways and byways week in and week out, that we were mocking and scoffing and making fun of, they had the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that is the demand. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah that's where the value increases. Because there's no more, there's men, but there's only a, 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 a few chosen elect men of Yahweh by Shemi Abishai. Yep. So, so real quick, and I'm sure brothers will go get this. This is Isaiah 32 and 2. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. Yep. And, and these are all of the tribulations that are coming. You know, not just the hurricane, not just the loss of power, not just uh, the loss of food. I, I think the brother was holding Amos 5. Uh all of these things, okay? But a man of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai is going to be a high place. Uh, we went into uh, this past Tuesday. How we, we're going to uh, uh, go to Psalms 91. We're going to go into the secret place of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. That's our high place. Yeah. That strong tower. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah, God. See, the scriptures speak about the strangeness of our salvation. Right. Yeah, why is it going to be strange? Because... Yeah. <laughs> Nobody believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody, nobody, nobody believe what we believe, man. If they did, they'd be woke. That's what being woke is. They say it's science fiction. Right? Yeah, they, oh, you hip old gonna come. A black man gonna come and crack the clouds and come on the chariot and take this, take down the white man and then America gonna be destroyed. Y'all yeah. gonna get turned into supermen and 
Yeah, yeah all that sounds not all this though. Right. Yeah, we like the fact that y'all reword exactly. it that they make it sound so fucking when I say simple, I mean uh, in a sense of simplicity, all right, to a nigga. Yep. All right, to where it sounds crazy, the way you saying it, and you pushing your energies, it's when you explain it and you want people to think it's crazy, but good, the water for doing that, That's man. Right. So you can make people earn their judgment, man. Right. Because when they listen to niggas uh, break down the prophecies like that, all right, and state it like that, they like, oh, yeah, that shit do sound crazy. No, nah, I don't believe that. Yep, God. Back in Isaiah 32 and 2, and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so going right back into to Barrel, right? Uh, obviously, you know, some brothers lost power or whatever the case may be, but, but it was the spiritual stability that was the covering. It's the, it's the knowing through prophecy that these things are going to happen, you know? And then, and that's only a, a certain group of men, uh, an elect group of men, you know. Yep. While everybody else is out there tripping, going crazy, Bug. you know, going going to this, uh, uh, get gas, it's overcharged, Woo. you know, all, all of the meat that they had stored up, you know, a uh, coworker or whatever, right? Talking about, oh man, my deep freezes, man, I gotta, I gotta uh, find a generator to keep it going, because he saw hunts all throughout the year yep. as these yes. deep freezers, right, full of meat. That's what he's concerned about, you know, but he's not concerned about the covering from the things that are going to continue and escalate. Because he has comforts right now. Right. He has a, 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 a so-called stability in the society. And that's what, back off what you're saying, that's what's going to be a, a make a man precious. All right, because everybody's going to see past the facade now. Right. They're going to see that what I thought was, was safety and security and the structure was all bullshit, man. Right. And, and, and I'm, I'm at work, you know, and I'm, you know, trying to relate and not having shit to relate to. Like, ah, oh, man, that's, that's bad. Yeah, so, oh, my home is bad. Yeah, I'm you know, <laughs> because that's what Esau fuels off of. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. He fuels off of yeah. you coming to his aid and then now watching his ass suffer. you yeah. like, all right, well, shit, hey. Welcome to Better luck yeah. next time, yeah. man. Yeah. You know? I ain't got to be on me to put in that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. Sitting here crying to me. I ain't even got to be free. It says, uh, hey, as rivers of water in a dry place. So when you think about that, man, rivers of water, okay, like being in a, in a desert, you don't have any knowledge. You, you, are, you are in complete darkness of the things that are happening. You 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 trying to use your phone app? You ain't got no power. Oh, you forget all that, right? Man, I'm glad yeah, you brought that yeah, up. Yeah, make yeah. your point out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so all of these things you're you're calculating based on the lies that Esau has been feeding you, and that's not adding up. Femas yeah. calling you, or are you trying to get the FEMA, and they're like, "Come on in here and sit your ass down in this concentration camp." Even Robert Reagan said that shit. He said the last thing you want is the government to show up at your door talking about I don't care we how can we help you? Yeah. Oh, we're here to help. We're here to help. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They've been helping us all throughout history. <laughs> With a foot in our ass, man. Yeah. You keep your fucking help, man. We got our help. Right. Okay. Huh? Yeah. And and and, and those river waters, uh uh rivers of waters. Okay, it's this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It's true. Yep. You know? Because because that's what's going to be our supply now. And supply then. You know? But but if you if you haven't uh, 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 drunk from this holy well, you know, you, you haven't come to, 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 this, to this sanctuary to partake in it, you're going to be dry. No knowledge, no understanding, no light. Yahweh Shah. Okay? It says, as a as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Mm -hmm. No protection, no, 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 no covering, no, no provision. You know, that, that rock may be the only thing that, that as a storm is coming. No shield. Nothing. And and, and that's what Yahweh Shemiah has given us, man. You know, and, and that's the value. 
that Yahweh Shimei Yahweh has given us as well. And, and and that's why when the men of the Lord are out here on the highways and byways, man, as the elders are going into, this ain't for everybody. This is only for the elect, but you got it, huh? Yeah. So, so, yeah, you was going to make a point yes. on the rivers of water. Because, no, you, in the dry place. Place. you brought out uh, on the cell phone. About not having, being able to get on apps and look. Yeah. Strange thing, this storm. Yeah. Communications. <laughs> yeah. 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 Communication right. was gone. Right. Never in my life, I've been here 51 years, I ain't never left for a hurricane. Ever since we've had cell phones, Okay, an internet service through the cell phone. Not talking about at the house with the modem and all that shit. The phone itself. No internet service. No no company here in Houston and surrounding areas was able to provide any internet service right. through their cell phone company. Right. Why? Yes. Not only that, I shared a, a video with Jake out there in Missouri City. He had oh, a yeah, handheld, yeah. the ham yeah. radio. Yeah. Yeah. He said, because I know exactly. I know exactly what he was doing. The woman too. I deal with lived, I, I knew where he, I knew exactly where he was when he panned that camera around. It's like the next street over from where my old lady stay, man. They got the big, tall yeah. radio towers. Mm -hmm. right. He said, man, we take trips. We'd have been to Dallas getting a signal right. from them towers. Right. I'm sitting here looking at the towers with a handheld radio, and I can't get a signal from the film tower. The lights were still blinking on them. Right. What happened? He said what he thought right. was yeah. that that's, we got hit with an electrical magnetic pulse. Right. A EMP, which what that does is it shuts down anything that's uh, electric or mechanical. Okay? If I'm not mistaken, brother can help me out, please. Electric. Electric magnetic pulse, but it shuts down anything that's mechanical or electrical. Right. Or just electrical, right? I think it's just electrical. Just electrical, okay. Yeah. So when he said that, I was like, damn, you know, because never have, bro, the ice storm came, right. all the right. <laughs> You name them, all of the, that shit that they came and wrecked. Like we out here right now after Harvey and the mother of the hurricane, we wouldn't have been out here right now. Okay, we wouldn't be out here right now, and that shit that came through was barely a tropical storm, but it had pockets of shit in that shit that wasn't the norm either. Cause I, saw, we all, we all saw trees rooted up, right? Trees right. this fucking big around, broken half. <laughs> a hurricane. A, Category right. four ain't doing that shit, man. Right. A five probably won't do that. Right. Taking a tree and the roots out of the ground. Yeah, that's different. That's different, man. I was gonna say so like it, uh walking downtown. I've been walking downtown a lot lately, and um, like you're going into, Elder, a lot of trees. You will see a lot of trees like been uprooted yes. right in the middle of the street. Yeah. Right. And it takes normally say you got a stump in your yard pay somebody to come get it, they got to pull that motherfucker out with a trip or a Grind it down into yeah. the ground. Yeah. I got yeah. that definition for EMP. Too. Yeah, real quick. Uh, this is from Wikipedia. Uh, electromagnetic pulse, also referred to as a transient electromagnetic disturbance, or TED, is a brief burst of electromagnetic energy. Mm. The origin of an EMP can be natural or artificial mm -hmm. and can occur as an electromagnetic field as an electric field as a magnetic field or as a conducted electric current hey that makes sense because yeah. you hear a lot of people talk about how the lights flicker mm -hmm. all right yeah like this brother said they lights came on and then went back off in the middle of the night man all right the emp has a range okay right so when, when it goes off, it's going to affect a certain area wherever it was emitted, man. Okay? One more part here. The electromagnetic interface caused by EMP can disrupt communications mm -hmm. and damage electronic equipment. Yep. And none of, nobody I know, none of nobody these brothers know, was able to even use Google. Maps, right. forget it. Right. I kept teasing my, my demon. I was like, hey, Google such and such to see if they open. Let's get some right. food. Shit, 
week. It's not working. She so <laughs> throwed off, man. I told her, you want to watch a movie? She picked up the fucking remote. Wow. There ain't no lights. Wow. Yep. I said, God damn, right then. I said, man, you a reflection of the people in this world. Y'all, gone. <laughs> I, and I did it more than once. I did it twice, actually. And she went for the remote the second and started laughing. Cause it's still not real yet. It ain't real right. yet. Eventually the lights gonna come back. Like in. they always right, do. Right, right. But see, one day the lights is going out and they not coming on. Yeah. And that's when shit, people gonna freak out and that knowledge and wisdom is gonna kick in, man. Yes, imagine lights, no water, and a famine at once. Woo-hoo. Just put those together. That's chaos instantly, man. See, that's why the Lord said, see, why he may be found. See? Because Amos, uh, what is it, 3 and 11? 3, uh, a famine of hearing the word? 8 and 11. Matter of fact, grab that. You got it. Huh? It's uh, Jeremiah 51 and 46 in the NIV. It says, Do not lose heart or be afraid when rumors are heard in the land. Because these, uh, you know, wars, uh, hurricane burial, these different hurricanes that could be likened unto rumors because the people know center point will come turn the lights back on eventually. Right. Things will get back better. So in their mind, it just holds something that's going to come and go, likened unto a rumor. But it says one rumor comes mm-hmm. and then another year, another rumor comes and that's when they get low to sleep. But it says, and next, rumors of violence, it says, and then violence will erupt in the land, leader against leader, so like that. And then rumors of violence in the land, ruler against ruler. Yeah. So eventually it's gonna be a rumor, right. then everything go die down, then another one is gonna die down, then another, but eventually it's gonna actually happen, man. It's, it's gonna kick up, it's gonna be too late. Same man. Could I read a little bit more than LP? Uh I went down to control just to see what it says, also in the Wikipedia. Like any electromagnetic interference, the threat from EMP is subject to control measures. This is true whether the threat is natural or man-made. That's what really caught my attention was the man-made. Yeah. Therefore, most control measures focus on... Because lightning can disrupt mm-hmm. electronics, you know, because of the surge of, 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 uh, of energy that's in that boat, you know. But it can be natural mm-hmm. or it can be man-made. They're, oh, hey, oceans are left. Uh-huh. They went and stole the EMP device from the... Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the colleges to go and use it outside of the casino yep. to knock out all the power so that yep. they could rob the casino. Yep. See? The program. Yeah, again. <laughs> yep. That, that's a scene in, uh, I believe, Don Hart 3, uh, where they had, uh, they called it like a fire sale, and they served all the power as well. Yeah. See? So, so all of these same things are happening. That's I think in Batman, they had like a big call, like a bomb type thing. Last uh, paragraph. Therefore, most control measures focus on the susceptibility of equipment to EMP effects and hardening or protecting it from harm. This is the main point. May, man made sources other than weapons, you saw even his weapons, are also subject, subject to control measures in order to limit the amount of post energy emitted. So, like, what the hell is going into it? Like, how it's flickering there, they're measuring it. They're saying, like, okay, what's the effect in this area, this area, you know, that, and they're taking a data. That's right. No, no, that's, that's, that's it. it. Yeah, that's right. Because everything they do, they always record data. They always store data. Yeah. Because Esau wants to be that giant brain and know everything because he wants to be omnipotent. Yeah. See? He wants to be a giant god brain. Some more on that? that, no, that was okay. What I find? Yeah, bring that out. This is Matthew 24 and 6. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. This is to go with the uh, brother Karab body brought out. One day, the lights ain't coming back on. Right. But see, go ahead, right. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Yeah. See that you be not troubled. For all the all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah. See, you be not troubled. Okay. The end is not yet. 
Although we at the end, but certain prophecies got to happen before the ultimate end. Okay, we in the last days, all right? But before the last day of Esau's rulership, okay, there has to be a time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, okay? Then the third quote. See, the prophecies that we started with uh, First Corinthians. 14 and 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. Exactly. The prophecies are going to happen in order. So the end is not yet. We hear the wars, rumors of wars. There's wars going on. Oh, and keep going too. Hey, that would make the most high hypocrite. Yeah. If he didn't do things in order. Yeah. The prophecies, mm -hmm. that's the most high's will. Uh, like we were bringing it out with the EMP, a part of that in, in war that's coming to pass is everything is AI or, you know, uh, it's tech savvy. So when you have an EMP attack, it's going to knock all of that out. So that's, again, going back to that weapon. Yep. This is 2nd Ezra 4 and 37. By measure hath he measured the time, and by number hath he numbered the time, and he doeth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. Yep. Just, just as the elder was going to one prophecy is not going to come before the next one out of order. You know, everything's going to be done decently in order, you know. World War Three is not going to pop off before the MLTB be made mandatory, you know, on a global scale. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to Matthew 24. Uh, Matthew 24 and 6 again. Ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah. For nation shall rise against nation. You see that. And kingdom against kingdom. Yep. Yeah. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Yep. All these are the beginning of sorrow. And that's where we are, man. And we live in a sorrowful time. Okay? Uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. But the wicked is in authority, man. All right? Everybody's in. Everybody mourning, man. Like the other times of said, even the rich people is mourning. Because they tight hearts, man. Yeah. They don't want to spend thirty dollars on one little sack of groceries. I need juice. Uh, why is the budget for uh, the food budget so high, Jeeves? Well, sir, <laughs> it's the economy, sir. It's inflation. Dag <laughs> nabbit, we can't have that. You know, they don't like paying big bread for shit neither. Mm. They like hoarding their money. They want to invest. They want to make more. They niggards. Yeah, they greedy. You know? So they don't want to spend extra bread either. And it, it, look, when the economy's bad, all these motherfuckers is hurt, man. Yes. Okay? Now, you do have certain ones that thrive off of bad times, like during the scam dimmy. You know? Lights all came up. Uh, Shit. Uh, hands at the top. Came hey. up. <laughs> Whoever right. make man came yeah. three M, they yeah. came up. Dang it. I had a time machine. Yeah. I'd uh, go invest in three M right before ooh. that shit started. It wasn't shit. Even the animals had masks on. Yeah, Straight up, they yeah. Babies had masks. On. <laughs> it's just, it's, shit was ridiculous. People putting masks on the car. Uh, yeah, oh, that was fucking ridiculous. Just stupid, man. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Okay. This is Habakkuk two and uh, verse verse four. Behold, his his soul which is lifted up in him, lifted up is not upright in him. So like, let me start from something. Yeah, yeah. Habakkuk Patience. two and four. Patience. Behold, his soul which is lifted up lifted up is not right in him. What verse? You upright. Mean? Verse four. Okay. Start at the top. Come. Habakkuk. So like and what I shall answer when I'm approved. Yeah. So Verse 2 And the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh shall answer me and say, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that reading it. Yep, that's what we doing. Okay? We out here proclaiming the prophecy that are to come to pass, man. All right? One of those prophecies being Isaiah 63. Okay? That's going to happen. 
the book of Obadiah is going to happen. Okay? Second Peter, the third chapter is going to happen. Yes. Okay? So we are out here making it plain upon tape. All right? Standing upon our watch as we're commanded to do. Okay? Read it again. Habakkuk 2 and 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Yeah, the visions of the prophets. Okay? We run it and publish it, man. Okay? And it's going to fall on the ears of the elect. All right? Go ahead. Right? Verse 3 says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak yeah. and not lie. See, this whole system is already set up for the MOTV. Okay? The whole blockchain, the whole internet of things. All right? You go in the store, you can pay with your phone, you can pay with your palm. All right? Rarely do people even use cash anymore. Okay? The whole system is ready for when uh, there should be uh, uh, the, the Revelation 13 and uh, 16. Okay? The MOTB, the Karaka. All right, this system is already set up for that. So it can't be too much longer, man. Okay? It's just things have to happen in order. So bring that out again. Habakkuk 2 and 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon table. Yep. That he may run that reading. Yep. So we out here making it plain, breaking it down, 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. So that it uh, may fall on the ears of the elect, man. Okay, you got it. Verse 3 says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. You see, we know that. Knowledge and wisdom should be the stability of that time. Read that last line. It says, Though it tarry, wait for it. Though it tarry. Wait for it. Right. 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 Wait for it. In other words, endure. Okay? The elect is going to endure to the end. They're going to wait for it. Wait for it. You know? It's going to happen. Brother Bert, Isaiah 55. The Lord's word will return it to him for it. Okay? It's going to happen. All the rest of the prophecies we've been for the, what, the last 15 years. Things right. that have been prophesied, them things happen. Look at the influx of the Israelites that woke up. That's, that was prophesied to happen. Now look, Jake waking up, okay, this word going out, this place going down, by the word going out, by the way, right. okay? This word is single-handedly destroying Esau's kingdom God. in the, in, in, his, in his face. I was about to say, you know what else too? We're proving that because it's made two main problems we late we waiting on to happen. The MOTV and World War Three. The thing is, the last two main prophecies is being spoken about in mainstream media now. Yeah. It, it was once upon a time the apostles they were saying, you know, see hips of people's heads and hands. That sounded foreign. But now it's on mainstream media. People yep. know about Neuralink and, and being healed and, and seeing and, and coming unparalyzed from the from a seal. So literally everything that the apostles, the, the elders and brothers have been teaching is being put out on mainstream media now, so nobody hiding. We it's definitely that time. Yeah, it's being manifested. Hey, and you see what they doing, the devil is doing, he's trying to make it seem it's a good thing. Right, right. That's Look, it. Look, it's a right. miracle. That, see, by his miracle. So, so like, that's the uh, problem, reaction, solution. But yeah, you got it. Uh, that's right. He got it. He, he got a solution mm -hmm. for the problem that he created. Right. You know? Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what the devil does. You see? Come on. What uh uh what were you just at in half a cook? Kanye half a two and three. Okay. Yeah. Second half was fifteen and one. Yeah. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. The words of prophets, which I will put in thy mouth, said Yahweh, and caused them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Yeah. 
bring it out again. I'll talk to y'all. Sick of Ezra was 15 and 1. Yep. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophets. Everybody. You see, yeah, we are telling the world their fate. We're prophesying to everybody, okay? But the prophecy of who salvation is coming to, mm -hmm. that's only for the elect, man. Exactly. And they only the only ones that's going to be able to understand that. You see? Hey, when Ezra, when the Spirit hit Ezra, because uh, I think he scribed for 40 days and 40 nights, and uh, one of us said five for, uh, men that was scribing for him or whatever, but once they got done, it was over 100 books. Right. Uh, it was said uh, he was told to publish some openly, publicly, and the rest give on to where the ears are, where the men are. Men yeah, with uh, like-minded men. Yeah. 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 That's back at that point, man. Yeah, some things are pretty. Yeah, it's certain things right. that we don't only teach in a class set. Mm -hmm. We don't right. come out on the block and teach certain things, man. That's, that's for the middle of the Lord, man. Yeah. Overall, this discernment because you know you don't you don't cash a pearl with most of them, man. Right. These, these people are, are, are not gonna uh, appreciate them in the, in the way in which we do. In, in, in the car. Yeah, we're not gonna come out here and break down Daniel two and go into uh, Daniel seven and eleven, and then hey, no, that's that's for us because we're that's for us to lock in and understand these things, all right, and be prepared, man. Yeah. Okay, because we see, okay, this is how the Most High, man. That boosts our, our uh, uh, faith when you able to go through our history, all right, and then line it up with these breakdowns. You like, man, hey, this is solid. This is the truth, man. Yeah. It's Second Ezra chapter eight and verse sixty-one, and therefore is my judgment now at hand. And these things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee, yeah, yeah, yeah. like-minded men. Tell the truth to somebody, gain an instant enemy. The world ain't trying to hear this, man. Okay? The world of Israel is not trying to. The majority of the Israelites on this planet are not trying to hear this truth. They don't want nothing to do with y'all while y'all was out there. Okay? Shit, yeah, that's how originally, that's how our family started getting away from us. They didn't want, oh, here you go about to start talking about the Bible again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you learned that lesson quick, shit. Mom's the word, goddamn. Hey, that was the uh, through the spirit. That was the most I getting that nigga energy away from us, man. Yeah. Shit. It was a point, hey, shit, you shouldn't, the wicked motherfuckers shouldn't be comfortable around you. Right. Why? Because that light is coming out. They want to dwell in the darkness. They want to stay over here. Let me do my wickedness in, 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 uh, quietly in peace. Yeah. No. <laughs> Peace ain't gonna wait your ass, man. All right. <laughs> what do we got? Who we at? Okay. It's back in the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, and verse four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yeah, and that's talking about the just living by his faith. Really, is talking about the elect in this time. Okay, because right here, you know, we always mention in this particular scripture, this, you can link, link this up with uh, two nations in our womb, the two manner of people, man. And it shows the characteristics of Jacob and Esau. Read it again, huh? Habakkuk 2 and verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Of course, that's Esau. Right. Okay. He can't do right, man. All right? He's been programmed to be the devil he is. And that's, and, he, and he's doing a good job at it, too. You know? He can't be upright. Now, we're supposed to be upright. Although we have a majority of our people that follow after St. John 8 and 44. You have your father the devil, and unless your father you will do. You see? Go ahead, I. And it reads... But the just shall live by his faith. The just is the Israelites, okay? But only a, 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 a small number is going to have faith to live by. God. And that's the faith that is what we out here preaching. 
because faith is belief. Faith and belief is synonymous. Same thing. You say you got faith in something, that means you believe it. Okay? We believe this. Why else would we be out here? That's it. It ain't for clout. Ain't nobody want to. <laughs> hey, baby, what's up? Right. Check my right. shit. Yeah, I'm lying. Yeah, it's like the, uh, uh, the early 90s yeah. in New York. Ain't no line up. I ain't right. got no shit. Right. Uh, you know? We ain't appealing in that sense. We don't, we not worldly like, you know? We don't have that appearance of the world. Maybe if I pull my britches down in the back. Yeah, SpongeBob boxes. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> yeah. Anything weird or ACDC t shirt, yeah. kiss, yeah, you know, and different color hat. Yeah. Jake and McCain punk rockers, man. Yeah, there was a punk rocker. Right. They used to have the tight pants sagging yeah, and shit. Skeleton belts. Glittery yeah. belts. Yeah. yeah. Studs. Yeah, Painted studs. Painted fingernails. <laughs> exactly. Right. Oh, my God. Because that was a whole movement, man. They started with that party like a rock punk star. Rock. Shit, right. Yeah. 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 No way. Yeah. yeah. Mohawks and shit. They wouldn't wear no fucking Mohawks. Right. Any, anything except for a man of the Lord. Right. That's right. But see, that's gonna get reversed in that day. Like you talking right. about. Cun. Wait a minute. Cun. This nigga is not valuable at all. That man is shining. It's hard now, right? Yeah. It's really yeah. hard yeah, now. These women are seeing these yeah. old metrosexual weird ass dudes. Yeah. Man, this nigga ain't good for shit. Yeah. I gotta yeah. pick this nigga up. This nigga can't keep a job and shit. You gotta keep an eye on him. Yeah. Keep trying to fool with my brother. Yeah, I keep, uh, uh <laughs> straight up. Like, yeah, we, uh, yeah. the women that we deal with, we elevate them, man. Right. We teach them a whole better way of living, man. Yeah. Right. Teach them to be practical. Quit being so damn wasteful. It's, it's you know, it's a lot. It's correction from the Lord. Yeah. You know, and, and, and if there's any sense of, uh, a, a, a woman wanting to be a woman, then, then that order going back to decency and order, she wants to be led by her head, which is the man. Yep. And 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 me and nowadays in this sissy world, right, are, are letting the woman rule over them. Yep. You got it. The land is very confusing. What you got, huh? You got something? Uh, go ahead. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter thirteen and verse twenty-three. Can an Ethiopian oh. change his skin? Or the leopard his spots, then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. They're just talking about Esau Edom, you know, one one that back in Habakkuk. Yeah. You know. His soul was just lifted up in him as a matter of right. Yeah. He can't do right. He can't do right. He can't do right. Yeah. He wasn't programmed to be right. Yeah. Yeah, Only we can be right. Righteous. God. Okay. He can't be right. Uh, violent in the earth. Yeah, yeah you got niggas acting like you're surprised with the devil being the devil, right? God, <laughs> see, yeah. Hey, right, that's man. that's more knowledge. You see, we know the devil is gonna come down with great wrath. Yeah, we what? We, that's we, part of the stability. Thirsty, knowing. Yes. Shit, when that happens, I ain't gotta worry about no fucking bills. Woo. Yeah. Straight up, we hasten the day, man. The most shit kick off and. The more we see this thing manifesting, the end being manifested, the closer we are to going home. What 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 Dorothy said? When she yeah. clicked her heel, no place, ain't like no home. place like home, man. Right. Who would that little dude, Juice World? He said he hate the world. He know he just want to go home. Really? So do we. We hate the world. We we are in, but not of. Okay. And we want to go home. That, hey, man, that's why this, this pill epidemic is so heavy, man. Uh, because these little niggas, they have no knowledge, they don't have no understanding and shit. They don't even realize they're catching hell. And they just, shit, they disguising it by what the, the music makes it seem like it's cool. But they staying gone off of whatever fucking drug uh, they can yeah, to yeah, escape this shit, man. Yeah, yeah. It's not a pleasurable fucking thing to just pass the fuck out and not know what the fuck happened last night yeah possibly die choke to death uh you know your own vomit yeah. you know because taking a cocktail man you taking a taking certain drugs downers and shit with alcohol you will die 
that's a deadly lethal cocktail because I almost died like that, man, when I was in the world. Wow. Almost killed another motherfucker like that. You know, being stupid, putting pills in beer. <laughs> Fucking stupid, man. But that's the shit young Jake is out there doing. What Kodak Black said, gotta keep you poking these little niggas. Uh, he knew the pop, the, the, the perk was fake, fake but he still ate because he a super grim. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, Kodak Black came out and said he do milk. Oh, he did it, you know. Yeah. But Jake, they they did what all kind of stuff. Yeah. Being the truth, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but they they looking to escape that sorrow and that pain. Man. Yeah. Because you know? once you okay, now I got all this shit. Mm-hmm. Damn. Still fucking miserable. Right. Why else would he be? And he said he don't even like to perform that song no more because it's about doing drugs, and he's trying to stop doing drugs because drugs got a hold on his ass, man. Yeah. They see if I don't talk about this shit, I won't make it because they got a old video on Kodak when he was young, yes. young, and he was like on some conscious rap type shit. They don't want to hear that. And Esau that. don't want to push that because going back like the brother was saying earlier, Esau weaponizes everything. Just like we talking about this geoengineering these storms. Shit, he weaponized music. He weaponized the weather, he weaponized the so-called food, he weaponized your women and your children, he yep. weaponized his yep. school system, yep. every fucking thing, man. That's his bliss. He is, <laughs> what songs, uh, 83? They want to get, they, that was the plan. Right. But it's a rap because the proverbial cat is out of the proverbial bag, man. We are the Hebrew Israelite. We shall remember ourselves in the land of our captivity and call on the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? So it's no turning back. Oh, go back to St. Matthew 24. Start at verse 14. Oh, somebody had something up. I got one. Okay. Uh, Proverbs 14 and 32. The wicked are driven away in his wickedness, but the righteous have hope in his death. Yep. <laughs> Shit. Read it again, huh? The wicked is driven away. The wicked. In his wickedness. Yep. But the righteous have hope in his death. Yep. And the hope in Second Edward 6 and 9. Yeah. Esau is the end of the world. She. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows him. That's our hope. That the, the righteous get put to death. By our big brother, Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Which we know that's gonna happen. It ain't a fucking doubt in our mind. Wicked get put to death. Man, look, if what we talking about ain't real, everybody's fucked. Alright? Everybody's fucked. So even you low-level six-pack Joes, but y'all fucked anyway. <laughs> you know? But hey, them Georgia guys don't wouldn't put there for no reason. Alright. They want to bring the population, they want to elite society with a population under 500 million. And really, that's probably too much for them. Right. Oh, it's overcrowding. We got to come with abortion and we got to reduce the population. That's another thing. He saw even weaponized sex. Yes. Right. Because it's creation, it's life. That's his, that's his uh, uh, LGBT agenda. Yeah. You know, he, he wants, since, since he done tricked y'all, y'all weirdos into not procreating, you know, because he, got, he, he wants to depopulate the earth. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he gives you the freedom to where you can go and, and be with a, a another of the same sex. Right. Guess what? You can't, you can't, there's no life. <laughs> there's no life in there. And then it's spreading disease at an alarming rate. Yeah. Weaponized. It's scary, man. People out here in Houston right now scared to have sex, man. They should right. be. Because Houston had a spike in STDs, look, that was last month. Yeah, because they've been leading in syphilis. Now all the STDs shot up and HIV. HIV, they had like, what, 18,000 new cases? Was it 18,000? 92. Wow. 92. My bad. 92,000? Wow. That's, that's this sexy red generation. This is what I, why they setting motherfuckers like that up, man, to push that vibration 
to where that they're numb. Game. They don't. They're not worried about. That. They used to be scary shit to think about getting burnt or catching a fucking disease. Right. Any disease. Right. I, I remember when they had us so shook about AIDS growing up. I was still a virgin, man. And the first time I went to have sex, I put two rubbers on, man. Oh, so I was. Yeah, well, I was. Yeah, AIDS scared the shit out of the shit out of right. us. Check Johnson's. it out. The chick, one chick I was fucking with and did the same thing. She was a virgin. That's how scared I was of AIDS. She had a, a chance of having this shit, and I was scared, man. I wonder how many of those uh, uh, 92,000 got that, that jump shot. Yeah. Yep. So that, that very well might be, you know. That is giving a, uh, you want to say, not a false reading, but a, uh, when they go and get their results, have to get their blood test or whatever, it'll give a false positive that they HIV positive. Okay? That's what getting the jump shot do for you. Oh, and it weakens your immune system too. What is AIDS? Autoimmune deficiency. You see? <laughs> Meaning, I get sick. My immune system cannot fight off any type of sickness that comes around. You see? AIDS. Where the fuck AIDS come from? Laboratory. Uh, yeah, man. Esau. Had sex with a monkey in Africa. And it's always yeah, it's always it's some bullshit, man. And, sex, and a lot of people believe that people. shit. <laughs> but then when you see the commercial, oh, oh, go get tested, blah, 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 blah. What you always see? You can see a couple of dudes hugging and kissing together. Right. We, we got our tests. Or oh, you see a couple of uh, uh, carpet munchers. Yeah, but they're, they're normalizing AIDS. Like, uh, I forgot which freeway is outside of. Uh, you got AIDS? I got asthma. They got a big ass billboard <laughs> with two grown ass niggas looking at each other on the billboard uh, advertising some new AIDS medicine, man. Right. Like, it's okay. You can get it and still live your life. Yeah, that's the that's the sentiment they put. Right, right. That's it. You can still have a normal life. Right. Side effects may be suicide. <laughs> but like a dead normal, it's gay. It's right. being it. more. Right. Yeah, and which is even more immoral. You can still live this filthy life that caused you to get in this situation. Right. That's what the fuck they right. telling you. <laughs> That's an oxymoron. So like I was gonna say, brothers mentioned Magic Johnson. Look at Magic. He's been living. He's the poster boy for it. Now look at his son. His son like six foot eight. Big ass yeah. feet. The 18, what a size 18 rocking here. What the fuck you get 18 stiletto, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> right. But that's two of my fucking feet, bro. Got them big and heels. Yeah, the big and heels. <laughs> oh, wow. That's fucking disgusting. Where we at? Where we got? Where we at? Yeah, go back to that. It started first, uh, go to verse 14. This is uh, St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. Because we said, it was said that since this word went out, this place has been going down the, the, the crapper. Okay? America is circling the drain. It ain't a sink. It's a toilet. Because this place is full of shit. That's right. Go ahead, I. It reads, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. What God? Yahweh Shai crucified. That Yahweh Shai, the Lord and Savior of the Hebrew Israelites, starting with the elect, the Israel of God, as the scriptures say, I think that's in Galatians, if I am Okay? He's coming back. Oh, like we spoke about the strangers. You see? And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. UFOs are coming back. A so-called black man is coming back to get a remnant of these people. Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Dominicans. When you even just mention those names, when you mention those people, people, when they think about these people, there's no value on them. Correct. 
Who is that? J. Cole said that shit. I'm quoting all these fucking rappers today. Uh, he said he looked and uh, at, at a, what he said is the toe tag, not a zero in sight. What's the price of a black man's life? Looking at the toe tag, not a zero in sight. Worthless. That's how the world looks at these people as being worthless. So we are here talking about the one that you ignorantly call Jesus. This Bible, okay? The man, the savior in this Bible is coming back to get them people. This is part of the gospel which we're preaching, which ain't never been heard. So when they say, and this gospel, oh, America's going to be destroyed. The so-called uh, white man is going into chains and fetters, starting with the elites. Get that, Arkansas. Your nobles shall become the first slaves in the kingdom of heaven under the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Man, I was shocked when you were for a top pick of the litter. That all, that's the compass. <laughs> This place is going to be hit with thermonuclear missiles and wiped out. That's the gospel. That shows you the height of wickedness here. This is the, the, the height of wickedness, man. You got all of the, the, the kingdoms, all right, that stood, all right, balled up into Babylon the Great, man. Yep. Okay, that's why the judgment is, is, is so hot for this place, because all the wickedness throughout history is fucking amplified here, man. Yep. And he saw what he do. He go throughout all the other ancient uh, civilizations that was wicked, and he pick him a little bit over there, put that on. Like Egypt. Yeah. That's why this is spiritual Egypt. Yeah. Man. All the spiritual, all all the the spiritual cold wicked man. places. He yeah. didn't win Sodom. Yeah. Egypt. Yeah. Shit. You Basra. You name it. Okay. See a couple of couple things. That's all you do. And yeah. he covered, because there is such thing as a, a righteous covenant, covenant, you know, coveting righteousness, righteous thing. The scriptures tell us to covet to prophesy, okay? But Esau covets in a wicked sense, okay? He sees other nations, uh, re and this is on the high scale, you know, he sees other nations' resources, like all that. Yeah, <laughs> he covets their fields and takes them by violence. An example of a righteous covet uh, uh, was Elisha that uh, prayed for a double portion yes, right. uh, yep. uh, of spirit, man. Yeah. Oh, in the dream King Solomon had, mm -hmm. prayed for discernment. Mm -hmm. So he was coveting after being to have more discernment for what? To be a better judge. We pray for discernment, man, for more discernment. Follow it with, let me say, follow it, discernment to always increase. Okay? So that we can see through the bullshit. Okay? The bullshit in this world. Even on the low level, just dealing with people that we deal with on the low level. Right. Like Jake say, Pete Gang. Right. Game right. recognized game, granddad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because discernment is just wisdom as well. Yep, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are able to, okay, this person is full of shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can, right. you are able to discern. Or, or, you know, it might be some brothers got a situation going on. You pray for discernment because that's what uh, King Solomon wanted it for, to be able yeah. to judge amongst his people. Crazy. Maybe brothers might have a little something going on. One brother might be full of shit and the other one telling the truth. Yeah, that was full of shit. Because yeah. you got the discernment to see that shit. Oh, being able to discern spirits. See? What we got? Yeah, so as simple as holding posts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, when you hold the post, you got to be discern. locked the fuck in, man. Yeah. Judge spirits before you should be letting me, man. Watch this yeah, dude right, right here. He got right fucking there. demons on him, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Why, he over there mumbling some shit. He been high yeah. playing. Yeah. Yeah, he was just shadow boxing the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad cat. <laughs> yeah. You remember that? <laughs> it's uh, Psalm chapter 149 and verse 5. This is the gospel. And this gospel of the king. What king? Okay. Yeah. You see? When have any of you 
so-called pastors been going around speaking about the kingdom of Yahweh while Yahweh shot. And this gospel, what we're preaching now, okay? So we're going to go back to go here, right? Because this is salvation. part of the gospel. That's right. Right. That's right. It's uh, Psalms 149 and verse 4. Right. It says, For the Lord, Yahweh, Bashimi, I was shy to take a pleasure in his people. Mm. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Mm. That's comfort right That's there. That's prophecy, too. Yeah. Yep. Let the saints be joyful. So knowing that, having faith and knowing that, so when all this hell breaks loose, right. I might be one of them. I got a chance. Yep. That give you a level of comfort as to where the sky is falling and Chicken Little is running around talking about it's falling and you looking up not knowing what the fuck to do, then a piece of the sky fall on your head. You see? Let the saints be joyful in glory. The saints of the Israelites. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Yep. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth yep. and the two-ass sword in their hand. Yep. To execute vengeance. To do what? To execute vengeance. This is the gospel. Vengeance. <laughs> the big payback. That's what's coming to this place. That's the second year through six and nine, man. He saw you got payback coming to you. And for good freaking reason. You touched the apple of the Heavenly Father's eye. You covered the faces of the judges. All right. You blaspheme Yahweh while Yahweh shy starting first, first and foremost. Okay? You whitewash the images. Alright? You lied. You used the scriptures to lie to us. You set this trap for our people to run around in, destitute, and then when they indulge in your wicked system, you run to the Heavenly Father. So Yahweh buys you out of the Look at Israel. You see Yasha out like there? Fucking up. Look at them niggas. But you the one set the goddamn stage, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just like called entrapment. Yeah. Yeah. Bait car. Yeah. America is the bait car. Oh, Jake is sorry. sitting that motherfucker. Where we going, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that bitch cut off on you. No. <laughs> Doors locked. Yeah, yeah, you in there. Yeah, ain't no, and that, yeah, ain't no running. In that Tesla. Yeah. Wow. Two thirds of y'all gonna get caught in that fake car, that Tesla. Ooh. The power gonna go off in that bitch. Yeah, everybody wanna. That's what? the big flex now. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? The Tesla Cybertruck. Yeah. Yeah. Even then, with the, when the power went out, they didn't even have charging stations right. like that. <laughs> yeah. So what's the point? Yeah. You do better sitting in the line waiting on gas. <laughs> then even when you do charge, you can get it in the line waiting on gas. It's gonna take you what ten minutes, five minutes to fill up. Right. That, you yeah. gotta wait. Hours. Hours. Like that's if the grid is on. Yeah, you got it. Come on, man. But I was about to say, um, people think Esau doing experiments on our people. That's like a, a old thing, you know, in slavery. They took, they, yeah, yeah, they took the women and did experiments. They still experiment on you. Yes. That's what that, uh, like the Apostle uh, recall say that that documentary. Uh, Willie Lynch. Uh, not Willie Lynch. Uh, it just came out. Clone Tyrone. Uh, Clone Tyrone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That, they showing you they're doing open experiments on you, man. Better believe. Niggas repping their projects, you the project, you part of the project, you the hamster that's that's running around that uh, all that, that race, man. When you hey. have a science fair, that's what you bring. What, what, what are you doing for your project? Yeah. It's an experiment. Yeah, you right. got a subject, I'm a yeah. man. I got now. this hamster, this one, I got this nigga, I got this right. Lexi, right. I got this Native American. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like you mentioned, they used to do experiments on, uh, on the women, man, in slavery. They still do it, but guess what? The women walk into an office willingly with an appointment, get on right. the table, That's and it. open their fucking yep. legs up, yep. and let this fucking weirdo stick some shit on them, and then tell them afterwards, "Look, yeah, yeah, this is off balance. We see this. Uh, hey, we got a new remove experimental drug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got to do some uh, shit, remove some shit. Then we're gonna put you on these drugs, man. It's not yeah. surgery; it's a procedure. Yeah, how about right. you change your fucking <laughs> diet? All right, there's stones that can that can clean the enzymes out of a woman, man. Yes. All right. You got this uh, female, you know, Johnny Blaze. When they when they they leave that um the pads, they do what they said, and they put lead and everything in there. Oh, yeah, also, the best yeah. thing yeah. of the tampon. Right. Yeah. Optic shock syndrome. They, they shouldn't have tampon stuff up in their stuff, man. 
what you now you got women today who trying to keep an image on like the the snatch body as they say you got women this chick named johnny blaze she took out her lower ribs so her, her right. body could be more of a coke bottle shape you got all these women getting bbls and not right. a nice backbone they getting all these veneers in their mouth now all they, they jaws and, and teeth hurt now everything he saw give you is going back why you me, man. right because everything he give you ain't nasty it ain't real Take your ass to the gym. Change your yeah, diet. Well, hey, no, so, hey, so do like a butt lift machine. And then go to the gym after the surgery, though. So that's that's what they do. They get Play the, the game, man. Nah, 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 right. That's and they get the surgery, and then they get to the gym, and then they so they could get a uh, uh, a Lululemon, a workout uh, 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 dealership, or you know whatever. Yeah. Uh, whatever it's called, endorsement. That's the word I'm looking for. Endorsement. Yeah. But it's all fake. Yeah. It's all fake. Speaking of Lulu. When it comes to the types of shit they be wearing, yep. sometimes they don't wear underwear, but it's toxins and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So glad back off the brother to see it. That's yeah. even more toxins yeah. on top yeah. of wearing yeah. tampons and stuff that you're putting into your body. Yeah. On top of you not having a diet, when you work out, you're getting rid of those toxins. You're sweating that shit out. Yeah. Drinking more water, you know. But no, they don't drink water. Right. That's, why I, had, that's why I stopped while I was there. They, they, drink, wine. <laughs> they drink white wine. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> man, the worst wine you can Drink. Still a rule. <laughs> supposed to be drinking no damn white wine, man. Oh, the wine in a box. Yeah, yeah. Them hoes keep them little cartons of wine, bro. With the V on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't even. And a lot of these women is, is stone cold alcoholics, man. Yeah, pill heads. Right. just drugs. Yeah, yeah pill heads. They drink the, the psychotic medicine with wine. Yes. Yep. They, they got the uh, they drinking the wine with the Hennessy now. They doing like the uh, the Taylor Port and the Hennessy. That's like the new thing. Yeah, that's depression. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> right? that's how I, I, I know it's kind of changed. But I want to call it now back when we were going into the testing these two niggas. Because if you look at that kind of spiritual, you say that's the niggas in that testing. And when he was crying, the guy outside the door, he was screaming for help. What he say, man, I can't. So the spirit says that could be like the prophet yeah. telling like, man, we gave you the one. We had a blood we off our hands. Yeah, we can't do that else for you. Burn that, that lake of fire. Yeah. Oh, we get caught up in Jacob's trouble with our hell breaking. Yeah. Because the most I'm going to remove his prophets from out the highways of our way. So we have yeah. to, at that time, we did our job. Yeah. He used us, just our vessels to come out to preach his gospel and, and get, get to the side and let him do his work. And that does not too bad. Ezekiel 2. Yeah, that's why they was, man, I remember it was years ago, man. They did that cash for Clarkish trying to get those older model cars off yeah. the road, man. Using the bullshit excuse, the emission systems and right. pollution yep. and all that shit. Right, Bro, and they used up. Obama to do it. Yep. Gave him an Obama phone too. Yeah, <laughs> but taking those vehicles, those old vehicles off the road, now you got these smart vehicles. You see? And they showed what can happen with the Teslas in that movie, Don't Look Up. Mm. Or what was it? Leave the world behind. Leave the world. Yeah. All them Teslas were going back to Tesla yeah. by themselves. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you said, you said that song, that song, that song, that song. Yes, finish that. Yeah, finish that. You holding something? Uh, yeah. Okay. This uh, Psalm chapter 149 and verse, uh, verse 6. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and their two edged sword in their hand yep. to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Yep. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. That's slavery. The elites of this society are going to be the first slaves in the kingdom of heaven. Because see, everything is going to flip around, man. Right. You see, the the the, the princes that are walking as servants upon the earth are going to take down the servants that are riding upon horses. Right. You see, this is the gospel, and this gospel. You see, they don't talk about that in church. What right. are they talking about? Right. Oh, and when they dash the little babies to pieces. Right. What, is, what are you talking about? Where is that? They don't even go there. Yeah, that's too. See, that's too gruesome. And truth be told, the majority of our people, they don't want to hear stuff like that. No. Or, you know, oh, they going to the slavery with a crown. Give a crown. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. Right. Yep. Slavery was wrong. But it's okay, but y'all want to be kings and shit. You're going to have to have subjects. 
Fuck yeah. you right. right. Jake is stupid, man. The scriptures say side is children, man. You know? But this is the gospel. The world don't want to hear that. You had a free cell phone. Okay. 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 Just to show you how much I agree with what we're talking about. Yeah, how much I just come talk about. Well, in his life, he came talk about salvation and repentance because that was a time for that, this, the, the truth. But people like to stop and act like the Lord ain't agree with nothing as far as the judgment that's coming for these heathens. And a point I like to go to, remember in Luke 4, when Yahweh Shai went to the synagogue and they gave him the book of Isaiah. And he said he opened the scroll and he started reading the gospel, the good news, how, uh, you know, the, the broken hearted will be comforted, the ones in prison will be let out. And he closed the book, closed the scroll. If if the Lord would have kept re reading, the next words would have said, not just the salvation for Israel, but the judgment that's going to come for the heathen. Yeah, the yeah. point is, the Lord just closed the scroll because it was that time right there. Not saying he didn't agree with the rest. He agreed with everything that was written. So even the Lord, in a sense, uh, he was telling you he agreed with everything, with, uh, salvation for our people and the judgment that's coming for yeah. the heathens, man. Yeah, we only want to understand the message of the kingdom is at hand. Yep. Or what kingdom? The kingdom of heaven. But in order for that to be established, the current kingdom has to fall. That's the translation between kingdoms, man. It's war. All right? Yep. We only had one account where it wasn't a, a, a major war, man. Okay? Concerning the kingdoms that stood, man. You sort of understand that the prophets back then knew that. When they asked them in action, they said, you come to restore the kingdom of heaven again. Yeah. They were ready for the I was trying to just to take these Romans out. So they understood it, but he knew it wasn't that time yet. You know, yeah, to come to Jake had the, uh, the history known of, hey, when King Solomon, King David, and King Solomon ruled, man. Right. And they was looking for the promise to the nation of Israel, man. Right. Then we led into the fall of the way in 70 AD. Okay, but now it's that time. Now the full understanding is going out because this is the time uh, uh, we're in, man. And I think the last part of this verse is going on right on what they would have been saying. All this is written. That's where the confidence come in at. Because it says, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written. Right. This honor have all his saints, praise you the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. All of his saints, that's the honor. I read that again, Bible Psalm Psalms 149 and 8. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, yeah. to execute upon them the judgment written. Where is the judgment written? In the scriptures. We bringing out that judgment too. That whole book of Obadiah, that's your judgment, Esau. Okay? Encapsulated in one little book. One chapter. You're done. Go ahead, I. To execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Remember in the movie 300? Uh... I think it was Leon, King Leonidas, his second man. He said it is an honor to fight beside you or something, or to die with you yeah, or something yeah, yeah, yeah. at the end. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. It's an honor, man. Yeah. You can't get no better than this. No, right. <laughs> this is this is top tier. But right now, to those on the outside looking in. Y'all, yeah, Jesse, right. it's Saturday. Right. Yeah, One o'clock on Saturday. It's got Friday. Y'all got to pay. You know, y'all wasting y'all lives. Right. The scriptures say they, you know, they say we took our lives for, for uh, not roughly paraphrasing. I think that's in uh, damn it, I can't think of where it said. I think it's in second. Year. I think. I can't no, uh, uh, made no account about that part. That no, not that one. Uh, the one that basically say we we out here wasting our time. This in this in the pocket. I can't. I'm what's, roughly what's my son, my friend, uh, maybe. maybe. I can't remember. But anyway, you know, that's maybe how the like, that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's how they look at us. We out here wasting our time. We out of our fucking minds. We gotta be out of our fucking minds. What is 90 degrees in the shade? 
Saturday. I want to laugh back and say something about what the brother said at Honor. And for that precept the brother brought up on the song, go into uh, uh, Revelation 13, uh, 13 to 10. Mm-hmm. And at the end, you know, you're going to put these devils in captivity. Mm-hmm. And then what the end say, here's the patient and the faith of the saints. And that's what we that's what we at. You know, and that's gonna be it, man. It's gonna be having patience, it's gonna be suffering, you know, and, 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 and putting our life on the line for the word, man, just to accomplish that. They're gonna be accomplished, and we're gonna have these devils under captivity, and we're gonna be ruling again. In righteousness. Right, right. You know. And man. even you niggas that disagree with it, y'all gonna be happy, man. Right, right. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Cause look, man, yeah, we out here. You know what the scriptures say, work out your own salvation in fear and trembling. But ultimately, we doing this for the whole nation, even the two-third niggas, That's right. man. That's right. And you niggas better hope we telling the truth. Which you ain't, but you know. Because it ain't no way else out. There's no other way out of this shit. That's it. The scriptures tell you that, man. This place will be destroyed eventually, man. Even Kanye West said, uh, Wish he had a, a spaceship so he could fly away. Yeah. Because yeah. why else you gonna get out of here? You're gonna have to get out of here in a chair. Because <laughs> a plane ain't gonna take you there, a hot air balloon, <laughs> virtual reality, nothing ain't gonna get you there but a chair. They already fall off the sky of planes. Yeah. Oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Motherfuckers took off the, the wheels came so, out of here. Yeah, yeah, be surprised that a 10 year old plane is malfunctioned. Wow, no kid. This motherfucker been flying since the 80s, and you talking about, oh, how did this happen? I got a three This is Jeremiah 51 and verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Yep. Be not cut off in her iniquity. Yep. For this is the time of Yahweh Bashimiel Shai's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Don't get caught off in her iniquity. Who is the her? That holy. Don't get caught up in her iniquity. In other words, don't be other world. We we here in this world, but we not other world, man. We not taking on the ways of this devil, man. Okay? We don't want to get cut off in this shit. All right? Two thirds of our people are gonna get caught. Just what that scripture is talking about. We don't blend in. No, they gonna get caught up in her iniquity. Okay? Read it from the top, huh? Jeremiah 51, verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. How do you do that? Do you get, do you get your I can't get a passport. I owe child support. I owe taxes. I'm in this devil's pocket, as they say. Deep. <laughs> I don't want salvation. I need it. Okay? We need salvation. It ain't something we want. All right? We're not out here because we want salvation. We out here because we fucking need it. Okay? Because we understand that if this is not the truth, we're screwed, man. We're done. We eventually either, somehow, we either going to die of ailments, uh, we'll just drop dead, you know? Something, you know, Something is gonna take us out. We're gonna live a life of misery, aching and pains, you know. Watch our families be bugged out and shit. Okay? So without this, everything else is hopeless, man. This is the only hope. You had something, huh? Who had something? We'll bring out a few more. Oh, you did you too? Yeah. We ain't got to bring it out because we were talking about, you know, uh, yeah. that just saying Ezekiel 2, they going to know there's a prophet that been a mother. Man. I got something real. Yeah. You know? It's Proverbs <laughs> chapter 1 and verse 32. <laughs> For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. And that goes into what? Turning away from this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. All right, you have a lot of people who right away, they just say, no, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to fuck with it, man. All right, I got a better promise. All right, and that promise is attached to this fucking kingdom, man. Yep. All right, but it says, uh, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them, man. So the false prosperity 
the prosperity that Jake is seeking is going to be your downfall, man. It's going to destroy you because you want to prosper in Babylon, which is oh, what ought to be destroyed, man. Right. I watched a little, one of them little shorts, Gucci Mane and his wife was offering $2 million. They wanted, they, they had a million dollars for one artist and a million dollars for another artist. And I'm sitting there looking at him and his wife and I'm like, man, they miserable. He even looked like shit, man. But they got bread. Can't escape the curse. You can't escape it, man. Okay? It's just the way that they look like they was, we want to get some artists and da da But you got enough. You got an elevator in your house, the cars in your house, the cars go up to the second floor in your house, and I'm, it's not enough. It's a lot of hell. There's a reason. You're trying to fill the void. Go ahead, I. The reason why is because a lot of his artists are either dying or in jail. jail. <laughs> It was, but who uh, yeah. so far artists not to fuck with Gucci Mane? Yeah, and you got Jake's that they'll come in the comic board and sit there. Like, hey, you're either, you either end up dead or in jail. Yeah. And that uh, Gucci Ice. And that contract guaranteed, it's a life policy, and that's what it's gonna make that bread off of. And look, people will talk shit about Jake, Prince, and Baby. How they did they artists, they ain't doing shit different than what he saw doing. Oh, yeah. Just them niggas. But you know, we all hold each other, you know, Jake as a whole, we all hold ourselves to a different standard. Even the low level niggas, man. You know, we get on each other. Whereas he saw, they turn a blind eye to the shit that other you might be doing, you know. Let a, a Jake get arrested and get his ass whipped by the police. Well he like Richard Pryor said, oh, he just resisting arrest. But let it happen to a white boy. We want justice. See, it's wrong when it's us, but when they do it, it's an uh, excuse for something to justify the shit. If that makes sense. What we got? Right, I got a quick Go ahead, right. This is uh, Proverbs 13 and 7. There is that maketh himself rich, yet hath nothing. There is that making himself poor, yet hath great riches. Yep. And that's what we're talking about, you know? The, the riches, the knowledge, and, and understanding of Yahweh by Shimei Awashah, man, we don't need money in this world. I mean, we need it to survive and, you know, do what we got to do from day to day. But but it, but it in, in, uh, in proximity to what the brother had made mention, as far as uh, Gucci Man, he has nothing. He, he, he's got a piece of paper, you know, he's got all diminishing, you know, materialistic things. But but in the, the upcoming days in which we're going through, the, the riches yes. of Yahweh by Shimei Amshah, those are the only things that are going to count. Pursuant to, uh, they say, Romans, 19. with that, and Romans 11 and uh, 33. You know, the, the riches and, 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 the, and the knowledge of Yahweh by Shimei Amshah is true. And a lot of these artists play to the mind because the thing they have to do to get through. Yeah. No, he's not seen. So that's what it really be. It really be they, they morals what they did to get to it. They and they, and they can't he can't yep. leave them. Yeah, like that YouTube influence the influencer that came out and basically say he and him and his All friend the they got invited. Yep. Right. He no, got to he started off low low level yep. and then got to a point he said shit for he didn't mind. He said, Man, I can't I'm not doing yeah. this. Yeah, right, right. Ain't right. no telling them what the fuck he saw. Right. right. They put their money in front of your face to compromise your whatever potential morals you, you thought that you had. Right. Yeah. Oh, you got morals. <laughs> we got enough money to change that. Right, right. <laughs> Matter of fact, when what the other Yaga Dah saying, the dude said before you went into that last door, you had to say what religion you into. And if it was uh Islam, they'll pull out the Quran or the Bible and you had to put on that pretty much say I'm my own God. So uh, before you even go through that last door, you saying look I ain't got no morals, I ain't got no God. So you agree before you walk up in there and do the food. Why I call that that proper purpose and myth and all that because they even does some shit to do some shit to make it, man. Yeah. To have money. We had anything else? I got one. Hold it up. No, no, no. Salak, you when we were talking about that 92,000, I looked at it wrong. It's 42,000. I just didn't want to put out any wrong information. That's right. I just wanted to let you know that it was 42,000. Right. It's a lot. Yeah, that's all right. It looked like a nine, but it is it's a four. Okay. My bad. My bad.
I mean, that's still high as it might be 92,000 tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Next, week, yeah. next week, yeah. you know how many times they played Texas Red in the pool. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's all. It's on the radio, the club, that energy. That's going out. You had people who was doing, uh, man, they're both watching reactions to the BET Awards, and everybody was like, what the fuck is this shit horrible? Yeah. He saw on BET. Black entertainment. They banned that episode on the Boondocks mm. about BET. Yep. yep. See that? I was gonna say to lucky before we got started. I heard somebody drive by playing Glow River, and it's a lot of guys that's playing a lot of yes, like, yes. You you'll see like I, I watched one clip, a couple clips actually. Well, you got high school football players. You know, in the locker room, you supposed dancing to be dancing to that. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, bro. They dancing and turning up to but these female rappers. They mama Ooh. at home. Shaking her ass in the mirror to that shit, and he in the room rolling up, getting ready for school. Now he under the vibration. Ooh, six and red, she jamming. Right, yep. You had a comedian say, Man, what the fuck is you male rappers doing? He said, All these bitches got the hard songs. Yeah, yeah. Shit is insane. The elder said earlier, that's that weapon. That's part of the weapon. I have to jump. Yeah, the weapon. I have to jump. Yeah, yeah. 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 She increased the masculinity of Salaki, brother. She what they call uh, an the industry listen, plant, huh? Salaki. Now she what what they call an industry plant. Yeah, they all are. Uh, all of them are. Yeah, yeah, yeah all, all of them. All of them. He, whether it's Drake or Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, right. They all are. Right, yeah. All that shit was just kick up the, and what's so cool, okay. The rap battles beat, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Why y'all don't go after Esau like that? Right. None of you. None of you niggas. Yeah. None of y'all don't talk about the small hats. The only one had a, a piece of heart to do it was was Yay, and look what they did to him. And none of you niggas don't want that to happen to you. See, that nigga gave up a billion. You see, yeah, you course. niggas wouldn't give up ten dollars. Yeah. This nigga showed y'all in because y'all distant from him. Yep, show y'all did. distant from him. Show so did. that y'all y'all know what's. We don't want to fit the mask. You see, yep. it's that one nigga at work that keep bucking <laughs> up against the system. Hey, nigga, look, shut up. Just go with the flow. Right. Just beat this cat and we're going to go home. That was me. <laughs> hey, we're going to close on that. Lord willing, edification went out. And it's on to the next one, Till we say Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.